In this video, we will learn how to solve lengths of sides and angle sizes using trigonometry. And in our last example, we are combining a few triangles. So make sure you watch the video up until the end. In our first example, we want to solve the hypotenuse. What we have is a triangle of 28 degrees given, and it's a right angled triangle. Now, from 28 degrees, I have a unit of 10. On its opposite side, so I have the opposite, and I want to solve the hypotenuse. So opposite hypotenuse is sine. So the sine of 28 degrees is equal to the opposite value, which is 10, over the hypotenuse, which is x. Remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Now in order to solve x, I need to multiply with the x. So I have x times sine of 28 degrees is equal to 10. And to solve x or to find alone, I need to divide both sides by the sine of 28. Make sure you have your calculator handy because you can't solve these without the use of a calculator. Putting the values into my calculator, I find that 10 divided by the sine of 28 degrees is 21.30 units. We use units when we aren't given a unit of measurement. In our next example, we again have a right angle triangle, but notice it is rotated and we still need to identify the sides from the position of the given angle. So we are given 40 degrees and from 40 degrees, if this is the right angle of the triangle, then the value opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. And then right next to the 40 degrees, this side is the adjacent. So I have the adjacent side, and I have the hypotenuse side. So with the information of adjacent hypotenuse, it would be cos. So the cos of 40 degrees is equals to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent value is x, the hypotenuse value is 16. And in order to find x alone, I multiply 16 with the cos of 40 degrees. Putting the values into my calculator, 16 times the cos of 40 degrees, I find that x is 12.26 units. In our third example, we are again presented with a triangle that is slightly rotated. We identify the hypotenuse from the position of the right angle. So the hypotenuse side is opposite the right angle. So from 18 degrees, we have a value adjacent to it and opposite it. So opposite and adjacent refers to tan. So the tan of 18 degrees is equal to the opposite value, which is x, over the adjacent value, which is 32. Remember, tan is opposite over adjacent. So in order to find x alone, I need to multiply out with 32. So putting the value of 32 times the tan of 18 degrees into my calculator, I find that x is 10.397 units and I round off to two decimal places. Make sure to follow the instructions in the question. If they don't give any instruction, it's best to round off to two decimal places. In this example, x is an angle size. And we are no longer going to find a length value for x, but we are going to find an answer in degrees. From the position of x, I have 17 right next to it, so that is called adjacent. 
And opposite the 90 degree or right angle, I have the hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse speaks to cos. So cos of x is equals to 17 over 32 because cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse side. Now we are going to go back to previous lessons to find x. So on my calculator, I'll press shift cos and put in the ratio to find the value of x. Remember to find the reverse function of cos. I press shift and cos to get this in the calculator. And remember, that we leave our answer as degrees because we are referring to an angle size. In our fifth example, we are going to solve x again as an angle. So from the position of x, I have an opposite value and an adjacent value. So opposite and adjacent. And from our definition of trick ratios, we know that opposite and adjacent speaks to tan. So the tan value of x is equal to its opposite value over its adjacent value. Then to solve x, I'm going to use my calculator and I press shift tan and I put in the ratio. So that is equal to 31.87 degrees. In our final example, we have three triangles attached to each other, or adjacent to each other. They are sharing common lines of AC between those two triangles, and a common line of AD between these two triangles. Our question is to find ED. Looking at where ED is, and starting from there, we see that we do not have enough information to find the length of ED because with this angle size we also need a side, one of the sides, in order to determine ED. So the triangle that has the most information is the triangle ABC. I need to calculate values using ABC to have information in triangle ADC and then to have enough information to move to the triangle AED. So let's first find the length of AC. From the position of 28 degrees, we have 6 as the opposite and AC as the hypotenuse because it is opposite the 90 degree or right angle of the triangle. So in order to find AC, I will use sine. And to find AC alone, I need to multiply with AC and then divide both sides by the sine of 28 degrees. Using my calculator, I find that AC is equal to 12.78032681. I'm not rounding off at this point because I want to have my answer as accurate as possible when I proceed. So I'm going to keep all of these decimal places and I'll only round off once I calculate ED. If I round off too early, I'm going to lose accuracy throughout my calculation. Now we have the length of AC. And from here, I can use that information to find the length of AD in the next triangle. Don't just blindly stumble into it and think that 12.78 is now the adjacent line in this triangle. It is not. You can see that the length of AC is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle of the triangle. So in order to find AD, I have adjacent of 34, which is AD, and I have an hypotenuse value, 
So I have an adjacent and hypotenuse which speaks to cos. So the cos of 34 degrees is equal to AD over the length of AC. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So in order to find AD alone, I need to multiply the cos of 34 with the length of AC. Once I do that, I have a value of AD. Using my calculator, I find the length of AD is 10.595371111. And what we want to do is to keep as many decimals as possible in order to find the most accurate value of the length of ED. Finally, we can get the length of ED. So in this triangle, we have AD is 10.59 and all its digits, and we have 16 degrees. The angle of D is 90 degrees because EDC is a straight line. So from this position, I have 16 degrees, I have an adjacent value, and I want to find the length of the opposite side. Because EA is the hypotenuse, it's opposite the right angle of the triangle. But we don't want to find EA, we want to find ED. So from 16 degrees, ED is opposite, and AD is adjacent. So opposite and adjacent speaks to tan. So in order to find the length of ED, I take the length of AD times the tan of 16. And putting this into my calculator, I find that ED is 3.038 and a few digits afterwards, but now finally I can round off. Remember, there is no unit of measurement given at the start, so I just say 3.04 units.